It is Marathon Weekend in Chicago. It's been circled on a whole lot of calendars for a long time, and runners hitting the streets this morning for a little warm up, taking part in Abbott's Chicago 5K. This is Grant Park. About 8,000 runners took part in that chilly race this morning, and for each runner who finished this morning, two dollars will be donated to the American Diabetes Association. Now, of course, the main event takes place tomorrow morning. Sunday is Marathon Day around here. Starts around 7:20. 40,000 runners will be participating this year. Some of them getting ready for the big race at McCormick Place today, and that's where CBS 2's Maribel Gonzalez is live. Maribel, good evening. Yeah, good evening, Chris. The race is definitely on. Take a look right behind me. McCormick Place is full as these runners are picking up their numbers and getting some last minute tips from fitness professionals here at the Health Abbott Health and Fitness Expo. The runners are coming from all over the country and the world. Around 100 countries will be represented at this year's marathon. We caught up with one of the runners, Lindsay Nathan, who after getting injured around seven years ago was told by doctors she would never be able to run again. So I was very devastating, but I actually had uh, hamstring surgery. Um, I spent eight months in physical therapy, and all, all I was thinking about was getting to this moment. And so I am like so excited. I am just like overwhelmed. Yeah, but Lindsay is here today, and like many others, she is running to raise funds for a good cause. She's doing it for domestic violence awareness. Remember, this will be a busy day throughout the city. The marathon is expected to impact around 29 neighborhoods with street closures and parking restrictions, especially in that downtown area. We do have all the information on that up on our website on CBSChicago.com. Reporting live at the McCormick Place, Maribel Gonzalez, CBS 2 News. You can feel her energy. Maribel, thank you so much.